I was schizophrenic, if this is what we're talking about, my feeling about it was, and maybe this is, if not true, a delusion worth playing with, is I thought, aha, what we call mental illness, what we call schizophrenia, (laughs) and what we look into the body or the mind or the personal history or the dream state to try and understand and possibly cure, it's not like that at all. It isn't your... If you're the person who's nuts, it isn't your problem. It's something that's happened to you. Not more fundamentally than catching the flu. It's like you just happen to step in some cosmic doo-doo and now it's on the bottom of your shoe and everybody's pointing at you and backing up. But it isn't your fault. It was just happened to be in your path. It's a kind of... um, It's a horrible piece of luck unless you can turn it to your own... uh, to your own advantage. And what that means, I think, is obviously integrating it. Well, then how do you integrate these things? Uh, um, I think it has to do, again, a lot with where you start from. Just speaking from my own personal experience, what saved me was my cynicism that I didn't believe in anything, never had, had always thought believing in things was a bad idea. So then when this whole cosmos of beliefs was handed to me on a platter, I just simply said, maybe, you know, I'll act it out, but I won't, I won't believe it. And I think that had I been a good Mormon, a good Catholic, a good Buddhist, a good something else, then I would have been lost because I would have traded whatever it was I believed for the new set of beliefs. As it was, I just said, you know, what's this? Beliefs. I don't do that. But I played with it and somehow the playing with it was able to depotentiate it. 